where the girl said, oh, Diddy must have got rid of Bonds and that, oh, he got his account took and all that. Yeah. And I put the account back on. Because like I said, I'm not a social media guy. It's just been like the last two, three, four, yeah. five years that I've really You can tell you ain't a social it. media guy when you got the truck videos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, and, and, I'm, and I'm trying to use it, and I'm trying to use it to my, to my, uh, what you say? I'm trying to use it to my Best benefit. Of my, yeah, okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so right now, I got I'm in the truck. So I'm like, all right, I'll be exercising and all that stuff. So I said, okay, I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start a trucker size now <laughs> for truckers, yeah. showing them the little shit they could do outside the truck. Because I'm at the truck stops and all the truckers is big and fat and they could barely walk. And I'm like, yo, be y'all sitting behind this truck for 15 hours. <laughs> like, yo, y'all could do get some bands, get some shit. So that's why now I'll be on the social media. But as far as social media drive you crazy if Absolutely. you look at the reactions yeah, 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 yeah. to what people saying, like the people are fucking yo, you ain't shit bonds. Yeah. And yo, you was there for this. That's why I can't tell you what you want to hear. I can only tell you what I seen, what I witnessed, and how I feel. I'm not after, like, you got people that's after a million views. You got people that do this every day. First of all, I'm not going to let nobody control my life that I got to talk about you every day. Right. I got to keep talking about your bad side. I keep talking about your good side. But each and every day I'm on this motherfucker, I ain't got no life. I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no family if I'm talking about you every day. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it is what it is. I'm going to give them what they want to hear. Those that know me. Know that, yo, he's telling the truth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, we spoke, uh, somebody that uh, I, I was able to meet a few weeks ago right. that, I, that I respect is Vlad uh, right. with Vlad TV. Um, I spoke to him a bunch um, during the interview, even after the interview. And uh, he had a guest on there where he kind of like, I, for what a lot of people see is he solved the Tupac murder case. Okay. He finally came out. Um Keefy D said things because you're, you're sitting here and you're saying, you know, P uh, Puff isn't with the gunplay. Right. And then you got somebody like Keefy D that is jumping on the internet. Oh, you know, allegedly Diddy's the one that paid for the hit. Right. Now, what do you feel about somebody like him saying something like that? First of all, I said, man, what the fuck was he thinking? First of all, <laughs> getting on there talking about he was in the car and doing all this other shit. So I was like, yo, what is you doing? But he said he felt like he had the, the immunity and everything else like that, right? The one thing that I say being like, people came to me and they was like, yo, man, they ran a Keefe house, man. Do you think it's something on the computer? Do you that? Puff don't talk to nobody on no phones, first of all. You know what I'm saying? So I think this was something to bring. I think, I think, I think it was more of a like an older dude not understanding how to use social media how to use it so he sees everybody. Cause I mean, let's deal with reality, man. I don't give a fuck if you give me immunity or whatever it is. I'm not putting myself in the car and saying that I had something to do with somebody getting murdered. Like, yeah. So I think even, even in that case, I, I wouldn't do that. So I think it was more or less everybody forgot about me. Nobody knows about me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm give me serious. some fucking attention. Yeah. I need to be like, in the line Puff ain't give me no money. Puff ain't look out for me. Uh, honestly, said, nobody oh. knew who the fuck Keefe D was until the situation. Exactly. You know? So I think that was his way of being known. And I think that shit turned around and bit him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It turned around and bit him. But as far as like Puff being the one that gave him the money and all that, nah, nah I don't think so. Yeah. And um, same thing, like, so I think that what we gathered here for the most part today, right, like, is there is a lot of stories about Diddy, um, a lot of allegations that are being made against him. You've obviously uh, sat there and you have your own experiences with him. You know, I, right. I don't know shit. Right. I'm just a random guy that's sitting here and I got the opportunity, which I'm grateful for, to be able to sit down and have the conversation with you. Right. Um, do you feel like, you know, you do say this at the end of your run, right? right. But, you know, they, they, they say money talks, bullshit right. walks. You know, I think that after they watch this interview, they're going to be like, damn, let me get him out here. Like, right. especially Vlad, Vlad. I fuck right. with Vlad, right? Right. Uh, Vlad is an incredible journalist. Uh, he's, he's on top of it. He's, he's going right. to, he's, he's going to damn near make you feel pressured to be like, damn, oh, where were you at this time and this date? You know, he, he, he's uh, very good at right. what you're seeing from Orlando. I see what you're doing over yeah, there. Yeah, Shout yeah. out to you. Um, 
you have the uh, you had the opportunity to give anybody this interview, right? Why us? Because of the conversation. One of the one of the main things that you said to me was, "I just want to have a conversation." You didn't have a playbook. You know what I'm saying? I've done Vlad before, and, and, and he's a good guy and a great guy, but. You got so many podcasters that's just going after the juicy stuff. They don't want to hear nothing good. They want to hear everything bad. Like, I need the smoking gun. And when I spoke to you and the way that you spoke about it was more or less, nah, we just want to have the conversation, boss. And I felt like the conversation needed to be had. So money talks, like you said, and of course, because of my son's situation, there are things that a person would do that he regularly wouldn't do, but for the sake of family, because my, my, my kids ain't even want me to do any interviews, you know what I'm saying? So for the sake of family and me practicing what I'm preaching, this will be the only interview I do, and whatever money I got to get moving forward for my son will be done a different way because... I don't like talking about another person business, but so much. Absolutely. And we would love to help, by the way. Like, uh, again, appreciate uh, we appreciate the opportunity. But most importantly, I, you, you met my son. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'm that dude. Fist pop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm that dude. I feel like right. that shit is the most important to, a thing to me. So even prior to having a conversation with you, when I talked to my, to my guy Fresh at Always Busy PR, the conversation I had with him was... I, I sympathize with him. I empathize with him, like my son. Right. To right. have that ripped away from me, right? And, and you know what? One of the things I didn't mention was I didn't go see my son for about four or five years in Africa, right? Because when I went over to Africa, of course, you know the media was like, "Oh, this is Diddy man, this, 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 that, and the other," and I actually got almost got kidnapped over in Africa. You know what I'm saying? So I had to jump out the window and do all type of crazy shit. And I stayed away from there for four years. But what I didn't know is that my son didn't know why I didn't come back there because at this time we couldn't talk. So he never, he thought that I abandoned him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But then throughout the trials and tribulations and getting to know certain people, it was people that I connected with to say, yo, come back down. Yo, we got your back. We're going to pick you up from the airport. We're going to do this, that, and the other. Shout out to my man, Kevin Lyles. Um, You know, he put me on to some real good people out there. Yeah. And when I got back out there, they picked me up at the airport and everything. It took me to see my son. But it was four years that my son had to live without seeing me and not knowing why he didn't see me. And when I told him, he said, yo, for real? I said, yeah, because I got into an argument with the police inside the courtroom because down there, it don't matter if you in the court or if you in the stands. You can't wear whatever you want to wear. You know what I'm saying? Over here, we ain't on the court. We coming in a sweatsuit and everything else like that. And the dude screamed on me and was like, yo, I don't know what you think y'all Americans. Cause you, and I'm like, yo, man, who the fuck you talking to, man? And they came to visit me. They came to my hotel, like they pulled up, like, yeah, it's going down. I had to jump out the window and do all type of other stuff. So Damn. I say that to say, I can't even imagine the pain or the betrayal that my son thought for those four years that I ain't never come back down there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I say that to say, man, it's, it's a lot of different things going on that you don't know about. You know what I'm saying? That people just take on face value. You know what I'm saying? And even though Puff is the person that he is, it's a lot of things that you take on face value that a person is happy. You know what I'm saying? Like a person don't have no reason not to be happy. Yeah. But you don't really know what's inside that person is making them miserable or making them not happy. Okay, you got money. I think I, I forgot the dude the other day. What's the dude from DC? T Grizzly? He said, yo, I had the I he said I had problems when I ain't have no money. He said, now I got money and I got other problems. You know what I'm saying? So just because a person is rich and famous don't mean they don't yeah. have problems. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So and, and so, like, you mentioned how valuable mm -hmm. your children are to you. Right. I would imagine after spending 10 years with Diddy's children, they're right. also valuable to you. Right. What's your relationship with them? 
like today? Do you still have a relationship with them? Did that did that all fall away? What is your relationship like with them? And what well, was it relationship?